two, and you do fifteen hundred. All right, I'll do uh, sixteen. You do twenty-one. All right, we'll do. For decades, air traffic controllers have been issuing clearances to departing aircraft by voice. Got yeah, it's 772 Las Vegas. As the airspace around our nation's airports has gotten more complex, so have those clearances. And the radio frequencies used to deliver those clearances have at times become crowded. To the pilot and the controller, frequency congestion is sometimes a real, real problem, and it's unpredictable. Today, the controller radios the clearance to the pilot, who jots it down on a pad and reads it back to the controller to make sure he got it right. Once confirmed, the pilot manually ensures the clearance is correctly entered into the aircraft's flight management computer. If the original clearance needs to be revised, say due to weather, the entire process has to be repeated, one at a time, for each aircraft in the departure queue. It's a time-consuming, labor-intensive exercise that can exacerbate ground delays and leave the door open to misunderstood instructions. But that's changing right now. FedEx has become the first U.S. air carrier to begin receiving departure clearances via data communications, with full operational trials now underway at Memphis International Airport. This is the first of a number of one-year trials aimed at testing this next-gen transformational technology in the operational environment. Primarily, we want to ensure that the functional and operational requirements uh, are, are validated uh, in time for the production system. Secondly, uh, it allows uh, for the system to gain user acceptance as it operates in the field. It's a way of mitigating any risk early on uh, for the production system. Using Datacom, instead of reading a clearance into a microphone, the tower controller calls up a digital clearance on a computer and transmits it by VHF digital data radio to the intended aircraft. The clearance shows up on a flight deck display. If the flight crew concurs, the captain presses Wilco, signaling his acceptance to the controller and automatically entering the clearance into the aircraft's flight management computer. A lot of times during these weather events, the controller has to issue eight, ten, a dozen clearances. Aircraft receive datacom messages using the Future Air Navigation System, or FANS 1A, avionics that have been used to receive controller instructions over the ocean where voice communication can be challenging for over a decade. One of the reasons the FAA uh, chose Memphis and, 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 and FedEx to be the demonstration site for this capability is our large number of fans equipped aircraft. Allen says about 30 to 50 of its 70 fans equipped aircraft will participate in the trial on any given day. Pre-trial testing saw clearances being exchanged between the Datacom lab at the FAA's William J. Hughes Technical Center in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and aircraft on the ground at Memphis. Additional testing was done at Memphis Tower, and limited trials were conducted, generally one flight per day, before controllers began issuing Datacom clearances to multiple departing flights. The airplanes have been performing very well. We've been very impressed with the speed of the communications. We're very happy so far. In addition to reducing taxi times and ground delay, the FAA expects Datacom to help controllers work more efficiently. Well, definitely a reduced workload. It will also lessen the stress when uh, we have uh, an overload of aircraft, uh, all wanting uh, releases, clearances at one time. I've been in this uh, flight data specialist for 34 years now, and uh, this is the best thing I've seen come along in a long time. Datacom further increases departure efficiency by sending clearance information to flight operations center dispatchers at the same moment it's sent to the flight deck. This enables dispatchers to perform critical calculations, such as whether there's enough fuel on board, before the crew even asks, particularly in the case of a revision. He's uh, prepared when the crew calls him with that change and looking for new fuel numbers, and he can have that information uh, immediately ready for him and not waiting for that phone call. Uh, that radio call. Datacom operational trials are also getting underway with United Airlines at Newark. U.S. air carriers aren't the only ones getting into the act. Germany's Lufthansa has already approached the FAA about taking part in the operational trials. It's very significant because it shows that uh, this program is, is, is very, very visible uh, even now in the European communities. Since planning for these trials got underway, the FAA has awarded a $331 million seven-year contract to Harris Corporation, 
to build out the nationwide datacom communications infrastructure. That work is getting underway this year. If all goes well, datacom departure clearances should start becoming a permanent fixture in towers in 2016. This will be well received by both pilots and the air traffic controllers. For more information about datacom and other NextGen programs, visit our website at faa.gov nextgen. From Memphis, Tennessee, I'm Bill Gordon. Thank you.